Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've created this rose gold prom look for you guys. A lot of people were requesting, requesting, requesting a rose gold prom makeup tutorial. So your wish is my command. I did this for you guys and I really hope you enjoy. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with Cupcake by Makeup Geek. It's right here. And that's going to be our transition shade. So we're going to go in slow with this and then build it up. I'm just going in with a very, very light hand. Circular motions and windshield wiper motions. And then once there's less product on the brush, we're going to go upward. So you want to keep most of the product under the crease and then when there's less product on the brush then you go upward that's how you create a gradient blend I know a lot of people have a hard time with that and it's probably because they just go right in with the color but this is the easiest way to make sure that you have a really blown out blend and then we're gonna take bitten right here in the middle and cherry cola by makeup geek they're kind of the same color but one is darker than the other and we're also just going to blend those two into the crease to darken it up now same thing with this thing go really slow and you want this one not go higher than your transition shade so you want to keep this one low in the crease Now we're going to switch brushes and I'm going to go in with the Luxie 232. It's a small tapered brush and I'm going to go in again with that color just to get more precise into the crease. And then we're going to take actually colors from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to take Love Letter and uh, I don't know how to say it. It's Venetian Red. I don't know how to say that, but just these two colors on that same Luxie brush. And this is going to bring more berry tones back into the look. It's going to give it just a little oomph. Then I'm going to take Corrupt by Makeup Geek. It's just a black shadow. A flat definer brush, and I'm just going to smoke out the lash line with that. So it's gonna look like you have liner, but it's just a shadow. And then we're gonna take that small Luxie brush again and just further smoke it out. And then for the glitter, I'm gonna take this Stila Metals glitter in Rose Gold Retro. Looks like this. It's so pretty, you guys. When I posted this on Twitter, a lot of you were asking me what it was. Super pretty. I love these Stila liquid metals. And I'm taking it on an eyeliner brush so I can be really defined on where I want it. And I'm going to take a little bit of black and just push that on the outer corner. And then voila, we have the first eye done. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. Okay, the lashes I put on are mine and a Shelby doll. I'll link it down below to where you can buy them. For base, we're going to start off with a primer, which I put away in my room, so I need to go get. Okay, so the primer we're going to be using is the Makeup Forever Skin Booster, of course. Mm, I just love the way it feels. I have a planet right here on my face. It's like ingrown. I tried to pop it and it just won't pop. And then for foundation, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. This one's in 120. This headband is hurting my freaking head. That's the thing that sucks about these headbands is they hurt. Okay, so just to make things faster, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M439. This just blends it out way faster than a beauty blender. Just for around the eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Beauty Blender so I can get around them. And then for concealer, we're gonna go in with our Tarte Shape Tape. If you didn't see my last video, I said that I put the concealer so low so it doesn't get cakey and I like to work it up. Because I find with the Tarte Shape Tape, I was about to say 
some weird shit. I swear, I always get that word mixed up. Tart shape tape. It tends to get like cakey up here. So you want to be like careful. My dog just farted. Wow. Get out of here. I want to smell your farts. You, you'll probably be able to smell his shit through the camera, to be honest. Now we're going to go in with cream contour. And I'm actually just going to put it on my face this time. Not on my beauty blender. I've actually been really loving how this has been turning out. I never cream contour, but I really, really like how it's been turning out, and it lasts way, way longer. And then to bake, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Powder HD powder. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know if this leaves flash back. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to try it out and tell you guys. It says it's HD, so... It should not leave flashback, but you never know nowadays. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder. I love this stuff. What the hell is this? Do you guys see that? No, what did I do? I don't know what to do now. For blush, I'm going to dip into this Ofra blush palette. This is really good if you're a freelancer because it's like a palette with all types of blushes in it. I'm going to go in with this blush right here. Wow, I forgot to bronze. I'm going to go in with my Milani bronzer. And I'm gonna set my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Oh, I just, this is my favorite part, honestly. I just love spraying. Of course, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Baked Highlight. This has been my go-to ever since I found it. I'm gonna do my lower lash line off camera. You guys know it's just the same as the top and I'll be back to put my lip color on. For lip color, I'm just gonna go in with my favorite nude combo right now. I'm gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with Pillow Talk by Tarte. And then I'm gonna put the Dose of Colors lip gloss over this. This is like my perfect nude, you guys. I love it. You totally don't have to wear a gloss if you don't want to, but I just love glosses because I feel like they make my lips look juicier. You know, and a girl with small lips needs that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is the completed look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, I am having a giveaway in my last video. Go enter if you haven't. Go check that out. I will leave it over here somewhere. Also, I will leave somewhere for you to subscribe if you aren't already. Please give this video a like and comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.